breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Learning he's being implicated in biggest scandal in U.S. history. SHT is hitting the fan in Washington, and there is no amount of bleach bit that is going to be able to clean it off this time. Obama, Hillary, Comey, Strzok, and many others are about to get the slap back to reality that they have sorely needed for quite some time now. Technical glitches in the form of the delete button and a hammer don't last too long in a world where everything that has ever been sent through any device is never truly gone. Buckle up swamp rats, there is a hurricane coming and none of you have the know-how or the material to save you from this storm. We the people know, your peers know, and now it is all coming to a head. According to IntelliHub, Washington, IntelliHub. The Department of Justice has started to recover five months' worth of missing texts from FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page after it was learned a technical glitch had caused their deletion during a time when anti-Trump communications in the ranks of the FBI were at an all-time high. Fox News reports. Federal law enforcement officials had notified congressional committees that a technical glitch affected thousands of FBI cell phones between December 14, 2016 and May 17, 2017. This meant that five months' worth of texts would be missing from Strzok and Page, both of whom are under scrutiny after it was revealed that the former members of special counsel Robert Mueller's team exchanged anti-Trump texts during the 2016 presidential campaign. Hannity said sources at the DOJ told him they have begun to recover some of the texts from that time period. Specific content from those texts has not been released. The missing messages have caused problems for the Justice Department Inspector General's office. Senate Homeland Security Committee Chairman Ron Johnson, Republican Wisconsin, and Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, Republican Iowa have sent a letter to Inspector General Michael Horowitz noting that the EIG's office said on December 13 that it had all the messages between Strzok and Page between November 30, 2016, and July 28, 2017. Sean Hannity went on air Wednesday to urge Congress to release the memo which may shed further light on the matter. Additionally, a source fairly close to the president has indicated to IntelliHub contact that former President Barack H. Obama has quietly retained counsel over the matter. Buckle up people, this may get interesting. Hot Air also mentions Obama being implicated as well as his name being ironically scrubbed from the investigations. But it seems the DOJ did turn over some additional texts that are worth considering. One involves an early draft of the Comey memo clearing Hillary Clinton. Originally the draft pointed out that Clinton had exchanged emails with President Obama while she was on the territory of a hostile power. Eventually, Obama's name was scrubbed from the document and finally all reference to the incident was removed. So that's one more example of the statement being watered down over time. Then there is the very well-known fact that Obama used a fake name to communicate with Hillary Clinton over a long period of time. The fake name was reported on back in 2016 by conservative firing line. Barack Obama used a previously unknown fake name to communicate with Hillary Clinton on her private email server. That report, however, flies in the face of a 2015 New York Times article that said Obama didn't know about the private server. According to the Post, top Hillary aide Huma Aden was shocked when she learned of it. How is that not classified? Aden exclaimed to investigators when shown a copy of the 2012 exchange between Clinton and Obama, according to a trove of 189 pages of FBI documents dumped Friday night into Clinton's use of the private server. Aden asked her interrogators if she could keep a copy of the email. The FBI documents don't reveal if they let Aiden take a copy home with her. This exchange strongly suggests Clinton and the president knowingly discussed classified material in an unclassified setting and hence broke the law, said Raj Shah, the research director at the Republican National Committee. Politico reported on it as well. The State Department has refused to make public that and other emails Clinton exchanged with Obama. Lawyers have cited the presidential communications privilege, a variation of executive privilege, in order to withhold the messages under the Freedom of Information Act.
The report doesn't provide more details on the contents of that particular email exchange, but says it took place on June 28, 2012, and had the subject line, re, congratulations. It may refer to the Supreme Court's ruling that day upholding a key portion of the Obamacare law. A report on the FBI's June 7, 2016 interview with Gov.